And hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're back with the Midwest Express. It is Saturday, and uh, this is a subscriber Saturday. I catch up on where the channel is at after one year of having this YouTube channel. Six months of being monetized. I want to say that thank you to you guys, the subscribers that have stuck around since the beginning. I have some exciting announcements to make with the channel and just kind of break it down for you guys on how things are going, how much money have I made, and uh, is it worthwhile starting a YouTube channel for yourself? So starting off since inception, one year exactly now, uh, starting April 1st, April Fool's Day, right? <laughs> I have made 175 videos, uh, so that is a lot of video content, and a lot of it was just kind of getting my footing and kind of figuring out how to do videos, and I'm still learning. There's so much to this and how deep you want to go down the rabbit hole. I am a full-time gig worker, though, and that is kind of like my primary bread and butter. I do this to share information to you guys because when I started, especially with like Walmart Spark, there wasn't a lot of information out there and I felt like there needed to be more stuff passed out to drivers. And that's what I try to do is share stuff to you, with you guys that I see that's interesting news, top content, just things about my daily struggles and doing gig work and whatnot. But 175 videos, we have had over 3,100 3, subscribers to the channel that is a lot more than I thought it was ever going to be. Uh, to become monetized, you have to have well, 1,000 subscribers. You have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. And uh, right now, we have uh, 26,000 hours of watch time already in the last 12 months. And also, we've had over 384,000 views of my content, which is kind of amazing but it's the internet and the way things work and i guess it should surprise me or anyone else so so as a youtube content creator you are, can earn revenue multiple different ways and one of them is subscribers watching the ads of the videos and that's the most common way is the ad revenue and this is my total ad revenue for six months of having a youtube channel it is two thousand and twenty eight dollars so if I broke that apart between the, the 175 videos I've made, I've averaged $11.58 per video. And on average, it takes me about two hours to do a video. So that's to uh, shoot it, edit it, upload it, and whatnot. So about $5.75 an hour I made doing YouTube videos. So it is not a cash cow. At least it hasn't been for me, right? However, if you start a channel, it could be a lot more popular than this. And there are a lot more avenues that you can make revenue doing this. And one of the ways is by doing live streams. I'm not a big live stream guy. It takes time to set up. You got to have the right connectivity and the studio and everything else. And, you know, maybe in the future I'll do some live streams, but right now I don't. And when you do those live streams, there's things called super chats that members can leave, uh, kind of like donations, but you know what a super chat is, right? So that money gets split up and you get revenue from that as well. Also, there is YouTube channel memberships, which is something that I intend on starting this next week. So if you are here for the content, hopefully you appreciate the content you're getting. I don't know how much the membership's gonna be, but it is not gonna be very expensive <laughs> at all. I, the main benefit of being a member of this channel is going to be that you're going to have access to certain stickers. And those stickers will tell me how long you've been a member so I can see how long the subscribers have been around because I've had a lot of you have been ride or die. You're here every day commenting and helping share the videos and giving me a thumbs up. And that really helps grow the channel. So I want to make sure that I'm able to identify you and also you can show your appreciation for the content. So hopefully it'll be a mutual, uh, you get something out of it as well, because I'm not just trying to hear to, to milk you. And that is never been the intent of this channel. Um, there are 
lots of other ways that YouTube content creators, especially gig workers, can make revenue. And another, and it's important that if you're a su subscriber of the channel or just a viewer of YouTube videos, you should understand that sometimes things that content creators are telling you about, they're getting a cut. So they're promoting certain items and hopefully they believe in that those items that they're promoting. They're not just throwing up stuff to shill and sell stuff to you because I guess, you know, that's part of the gig. That's part of the gig. People, people do what they want to do. That's, that's their option. That's not why I'm doing YouTube videos at this time. I'm not doing it to sell anything. And mainly because I haven't seen anything that I want to recommend to anybody that I'm like, this is absolutely, you absolutely need one of these. Now I like the wagons and things like that, but I don't, I've, I haven't test drove a whole bunch of collapsible wagons. So I don't know which one would be best for you. I know the one I have and I got it off an Amazon referral link from another gig tuber back when I started. And I have not been that impressed by it. <laughs> and I don't want to feel anyone to feel that way about me. So that's why I do not do uh, Amazon affiliate links or anything at this time, because I just don't feel confident in referring things at this time. Maybe down the road, I find something that I'm like, you got to have this, then I'll refer it. Um, I don't do promotional ads as per se for any of the gigs that I work. And mainly I don't do it because <laughs> I kind of tell the truth on everything. I feel like pulling back the curtain and, and being up front with you guys and showing you the good, the bad, the ugly with some of these gigs is super important. And that's why you'll never see referral links in my bios below because I don't I don't want to be the guy that you were like, yeah, this dude told me this was the bee's knees and it, it didn't end up working out for me because there are so many different markets. Like I could tell you, try this app. It's the best. I love it, right? Give you an example, Grubhub. I enjoy working Grubhub. I think it's it's one of my favorites, right? I don't do referral links. I don't promote it like that, but I believe in, in Grubhub. Now, are they going to fail? Do they have issues? Yes. Is Grubhub good for you and your market? I don't know. I don't know where you live. I don't know if people in your market use Grubhub. So there's that back and forth where I'm just like, I don't want people, I want you guys to be knowledgeable about stuff, but I don't want to promote it. I just want to share what I've experienced and then you can take it with a grain of salt and say it works in my area or it doesn't work in my area. Um, also, there are companies that offer media consulting or media creators, content creators that are sponsored by those companies. And Walmart is a huge sponsor of content creators. But with that caveat is you can't say anything negative about the company, which you're advertising for them. So if you ever see any content or creators saying, you know, before I get this, I always go to my Walmart Spark app and da, 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 da. Or you can drive for Walmart Spark and blah, blah, blah. It's easy to sign up, blah, blah, blah. And here's the links, and blah, blah, blah. Those are usually sponsored content creators. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody does commercials. Every actor or person out there is making a living by sponsor, getting sponsored and promoting certain items. And if they believe in it, that's great. For myself, what I wanted to do with this channel and what I try to do is tell you guys, like I said, the good, bad, and the ugly. And when you sign up for those content creator positions, and, and you guys, if you're a YouTuber, check it out. Walmart content creator you can set up a Walmart store, uh, online store, kind of like an Amazon affiliate store. Like there is a lot of opportunities to make money doing this kind of stuff. But I want people to realize that that's not where I'm at in my market, uh, what I'm doing. Maybe one day I'll, I'll have some kind of store or something set up where I refer you guys to it, but it'll be because I believe in it. So, um, but that is kind of it. I just wanted to, 
just do an update, show you guys where the channel's at. I thank you very much if you are a subscriber here, or if you just come back and check me out every once in a while and go, chirp, I'm still here, John. It's much appreciated. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next one.